नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई की आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल सायगांवकर द एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फ्यूचरिस्टिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूरो टेक्नोलॉजी यू हर्ड मी राइट नॉट नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी बट न्यूरो टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज टेक्नोलॉजी कनेक्टेड टू ब्रेन टेक्नोलॉजी कनेक्टेड टू न्यूरल सिस्टम्स इन आर ब्रेन a very interesting article appeared in nature which says mind reading machines are already here or mind reading machines are coming do we need to keep them in check that is the agenda of our discussion today we are going to understand what is the meaning of neurotechnology what are the trends in neurotechnology research which are the countries which are leading in neurotechnology research and what are the dangers associated with it will raise a question do we need to regulate these neurotechnology developments that is our domain of today's discussion to get to know all these answers stay with me till the very end let's begin our discussion but before that there is a small notice for all of you those who are preparing for upsc civil service examination study iq is bringing you p2i that is prelims to interview initiative where we will be hand holding you through all the stages prelims mains and interview we have created a comprehensive program which includes prelims test series which includes mains residential program it will be like a gurukul setup where you will be coming to our center to improve your answer writing we already have mock interviews planned for you the whole shebang the complete package is at a very affordable price 29999 and to get maximum discount do use my code rahul life remember the admissions are closing on 31st july do it before that i'll see you in the class right let's begin our discussion as i told you our discussion is connected to neurotechnology first things first what is the meaning of neurotechnology there are two terms neuro that means which is connected to brain human brain animal brain which is connected to neural systems and technology means the study that we are going to conduct on brain or brain science and then we apply it to develop some sort of applications so neurotechnology is basically the science or the idea of developing devices and procedures to access to manipulate to read our neural systems to read our brain these days we are talking about new kind of developments where we are connecting our brain with an interface that is what elon musk talks about elon musk neuralink corporation what it tries to do is it is going to implant a chip in your brain through which you are able to control different devices isn't it isn't it very futuristic right so right now it seems very good right now it seems very hunky dory but there are always two sides to a coin neurotechnology on one hand can revolutionize the science can revolutionize our life but on the other hand it can be misused as well so we'll talk about these neurotechnological developments and trends let's first try to understand why there is so much of interest over neurotechnology these days why so much of investment or, or so many people are talking about this because it is a field which can be connected with artificial intelligence if you look at different reports from unesco we'll understand that since last 10 to 15 years there have been continuous improvements in investments in r&d connected to neurotechnology the investment that to national government investments in neurotechnology they stood at 6 billion dollars in 2013 but today by 2020 21 the number has reached to 33 billion by 2020 and the projections are that not just the investments but the neurotechnology based market itself it is going to reach 24 billion dollars by 2027 it is a very huge market isn't it and that's why people are investing there that's why countries are investing there and i told you futuristic because india is way behind in this term type of research apart from that neurotechnology it is an upcoming field which can be clubbed together with artificial intelligence i told you about elon musk neuralink a chip embedded in your brain through which you can control your devices you can control this panel you can control the computer you can control other electronic devices right that means it can be clubbed with artificial intelligence that's why it is an upcoming area upcoming field now if we look at different trends in neurotechnology you will see there are no prizes for guessing here one country which is leading neuroscience and neurotechnology based publication that is the united states of america about 40% of the output it comes from united states in terms of neurotechnology neuroscience based publications and behind us there are the developed countries like uk germany china china has a small share of 5% of publication 
but canada japan italy france netherlands they also contribute towards neuroscience based publication now india is nowhere in this list it's way down in this list and again these numbers they talk about publications from 20 to 20, 2000 to 2021 apart from that there are many companies which are investing heavily in neurotechnology because it is a big device market i told you by 2027 that market is going to reach 27 24 billion dollars pardon me 24 billion dollars there are many companies one is neuralink this neuralink it belongs to elon musk neuralink corporation i told you they are they are building a chip there are many other companies specially connected to pharmaceuticals and device development there is synchron there is mindmaze there is bios in fact this bios and novum these are two companies which are continuously competing with neuralink apart from these there are other companies like paradromics another very prominent player kernel is another player there is blackrock neurotech which is developing neuro technology based devices and equipment now if we dissect this data further we'll see that when we talk about neurotechnologies of course they have to focus more and more on therapeutics because there are many neural disorders which still we haven't understood the human brain is very strange people have expertized people have gained expertise over uh, many other many other things right people have uh, uh, built so much of research they have built so many things connected to different body parts but brain is something which has been kind of a conundrum for everybody brain it has neural connections of more than 100 billion neurons right and it is ever increasing right it is said that an average person has about 86 billion neurons in the brain now we need to understand because it is connected to our thought it is connected to our learning it is connected to our reasoning it is connected to so many aspects of human body not just human but animal body as well so what kind of research is going on here now as or by now you must have guessed already that some of the research that is going on it is connected to neuro based disorders now we have parkinson's we have alzheimer's we have epilepsy so many things you can you can talk about some of the some of the uh, some of the ideas that are going on or some of the research that is going on treatment of parkinson's treatment of epilepsy but if you talk about recent developments you will see that 2016 2017 deep brain stimulation deep brain stimulation then you talk about some of the research after 2010 brain computer interface now since 2010 there is a lot of research going on on this now what is this brain computer interface i simply connect some sort of a device to my brain and i try to interface it to the computer that means I try to read my mind, I try to read my thoughts. When I say my thoughts, some scientist is doing it. That means if I am a part of that experiment, see if I am a volunteer, then they would be putting some sort of an instrument and they would be reading my brain. They would be reading my thoughts, right? That is the idea of brain computer interface. Apart from that, yes, there is a research going on epilepsy detection and also on neuroimaging, etc. That means there is there is an idea which is connected to your pharmaceutical or your therapeutics and another idea connected to research where somebody trying to read my brain that's why there are two sides to this concept of neurotechnology as well now why i'm telling this because this is going to help us to understand that we need to balance this regulation because our question is about how do we keep them in check how do we regulate them on one side it has a lot of benefits you can see here recent times we have achieved so many medical marvels so many medical developments all right one of the recent ideas was this a person who had a serious spine injury through a brain spine interface it allowed a paralyzed man to walk through his thoughts to walk through his thoughts right taking that device there is no need there is no need of remote control etc simply by thinking he can move that device isn't it revolutionary it is going to help so many divyang people so many disabled people great this is great but this is just one side of the story on the other side people who are investing i told you so many companies who are investing billions of dollars not to only develop these devices there are many people who try to achieve this who try to achieve this mind reading technology in fact vox tells us that mind reading technology is already here big tech companies are investing heavily heavily in this mind reading technologies that is neurotechnology that's the other side of this story and that is why when i raise the question when i raise the question should there be regulation of neurotechnologies by now i am quite sure your answer is yes isn't it because 
I need a yes for this. It can be catastrophic. It can be very dangerous if someone is able to read a person's thoughts. Now, interfacing with another instrument, that is fine. But if someone is able to read my thoughts, what about my own privacy? Can they manipulate my mind? Can they manipulate my thought? When I was preparing this, I, I, was, I was thinking about that Bucky from Avengers. You must have seen Avengers, right? Captain America's friend, Bucky. And they, they do the same thing, right? Something like that. I was, I was remembering of that example only. But should there be regulation? Absolutely, yes. You do know. Why? Because regulations, they are not just connected to technology. They are connected to society. They are connected to ethics. What would happen if someone is able to read your thoughts, if someone is able to decode your mind, decode your thoughts and commodify it? Commodify it as a data. Right? Politicians would love it. If somebody comes to know that they are going to, they, will they vote for me or on what basis will they vote for me? That is going to be a very pricey commodity, isn't it? I'm just giving you one example of politicians. But, but it might be very cataclysmic because if this Orwellian idea of someone reading my thoughts and manipulating my thoughts, it is going to be really dangerous for the entire world. And that's why we need to regulate. And I showed you the two sides of the coin for this itself because how do we regulate is a big question for everybody, for everybody. It's a big question for all the countries, developing countries, developed countries. I would say for developed countries, very importantly, because the research and the data itself is skewed towards them. But what we need to understand is the challenge here is to regulate them so that we protect against potential misuse. But we also want that research that is very beneficial. I want, I want a cure or I want to understand more about epilepsy. I want to understand Parkinson's. I want to understand Alzheimer's. I want to understand other neural disorders. But I don't want anybody using my mind-based data for misuse or they should not abuse that data. That's why regulation is in. And the world, I would say more or less, it is on the same page. There are many countries which have already started regulating where the neurotechnology-based research is going. Chile, Spain, Slovenia, Saudi, they have already started regulation. In fact, Chile is one of the pioneers in this particular area. Chile have included in their constitution itself that neurotechnology, it needs legal oversight. That means Chile has now spoken about people's neuro rights. And that's what is the conclusion of this discussion. Do we need our neuro rights? Absolutely yes. And somebody has to guide in that direction. And that's why in November 2023, UNESCO, UNESCO and its member states, they are going to discuss whether there is a need to bring neurotechnology based guidelines. And most probably the answer to this will be yes, because many countries have recently given inputs to UNESCO that there is a need to bring neurotechnology based guidelines, very similar to how UNESCO, the United Nations Organization for Education, Scientific and Cultural Cooperation, it is bringing guidelines already for artificial intelligence. Now, everybody is talking about AI, right? They say AI has many benefits. Yes, but AI has a flip side also. That's why regulating that is very important. And UNESCO is coming up with its guidelines. They are finalizing the guidelines. And in November 2023, they will probably work on guidelines for neurotechnology based research as well. As and when that happens, we'll talk about it. But you need to have this idea. A simple question can be found, what is the meaning of neurotechnology and what are the dangers or what are the potential benefits and dangers associated with it? What kind of regulation is needed? Because once UNESCO finalizes these guidelines, then it will become a template for us. It will become a template for all the countries to bring their own national legislations. Please remember, if UNESCO brings guidelines, it would not be binding. It would not be binding on everybody. You do understand that. If they bring guidelines, it becomes a template for me, for my nation, so that we, we look at those guidelines and we frame our own national legislations according to those guidelines, right? That's the basic idea. So, if there is any development in this domain, we'll talk about it. I hope it was interesting and eye-opening for you because neurotechnology-based questions can emerge. A simple MCQ can be created. What do you understand by neurotechnology? Four options A, B, C, D can be formed for you, right? Again, if there is any development, we'll discuss that again on Study IQ. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have liked this, you can always follow me on my social media handle at the rate Rahul Sai 222. Thank you again. Jai Hind.